going on, everybody? Hopefully you guys have a good week, good weekend, depending on when I post this video out there. Check this out. HGA crossed over to PSA. Nope, I'm not busting on HGA or anything like that out there. I mean, I haven't even heard much of HGA here in the last few months. I don't even know if they're still around or not, to be honest. I'm guessing so. Um, but I don't see much of them, and when people bring me their stuff to shows or any any other party that's not Beckett, STC, or PSA, I just let them go by. <laughs> Everybody wants to hold any company to what the value of those other companies are that have been around and established. Got Everybody's had their issues out there, but still... This here really shocked me because um, both cards you guys can see, same exact patch, same serial number. It's the hollow gold, all that stuff. A 9.5 from uh, HGA. And what I was kind of weird about is, I know what Beckett's grading, that would have been a 9 with a 9.9, 9, 9, 9, 5, 10. I'm not an SGC, or an SGC, an HGA guy, so I don't know how they do their overall totals. That just looks off to me. I'm guessing somehow they do the rounding part of the number or whatever onto it. But kind of different, kind of different. I'll give them that because I had some cards come back like that before by Beckett. And, of course, I resubmitted for a bump and grade, won my cases, and they came back nine fives. But a little bit different. Uh, but it came back PSA 7. Same person, I believe, that, uh, well, I don't know, I think they bought it HGA, if I recall right, and then they submitted a PSA, or maybe they own it the whole time, I can't remember the story behind this. But it's just amazing when you see the big jumps between the grading companies. You used to see the bigger jumps with Vintage, because everybody had a different opinion on how Vintage was graded, no matter what company out there you went through. Now, don't get me wrong, I've seen PSA 10s come back, Beckett 8, 8 5s, Beckett 9s, everything like that there. But it all depends how you crack the stuff out. Now, I don't know, maybe this 9 5 would have got cracked, something happened to it, possible. Um, to where PSA gave it a 7, I have no idea. But this, is, this more is a thing of a risk of having somebody cracking something out, submitting it to another company... You're not always going to be a winner onto it. This is a loss. I can tell you that now. This is a loss. We're just going to say taking that the card was not damaged coming out of HGA, putting in whatever they sent it into the PSA. It was not damaged at all. Now, if there was damage done, then I can understand the difference in the grading. But you could tell that, as always, we always say grading is subjective. What I see versus every other dealer out there, everybody's going to see something different whenever they want to, you know, push whatever they think the card's condition is. It's the same whenever you're doing the grading with the companies. It's going to be subjective with what that person sees and then it will that reviewer agree or disagree. It's always been the case across the board. That's why... You know, with Beckett, you got a Beckett 9. It was like, man, how'd I get a 9? Unless I'm going to crack and re-cement and comes back quad 9-5 next. It's always going to be subjective. And it's only going to be non-subjective when it's that high, high grade everybody wants. Oh, no, no, no. nuts. you know, it's quad 9-5. It's a Beckett 9-5. PSA 10. SGC 10. Black label. Gold label. Just makes you think overall with it. I mean, it's nice to have a company's opinion onto something to kind of take guesswork out of it. And it gives a price value onto it. You know, a lot of times it adds value to it. But this here just, you know, it made me think. A lot of people, you know, will trash HGA. Oh, they're garbage. Da, 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 da. They use computer. Well, the computer does a little bit of work. There's still a person that's doing all that behind it. With it, the big part is, was the card damaged coming out of the HGA case or not? Because if it was, that could be the big shift in the grades, too, between the two. Because, hey, owner of HGA worked a PSA. So he knows how they grade there. You know, you'd think you'd kind of take that stuff forward and maybe tweak it here and there to what, you know, is, you know, better with the modern, ultra-modern, whatever you want to call it, cards with the way they're being made, produced versus years ago, the stock and all that. But all right, guys, let me know what you think. I mean... 
always look at stuff again, not here to bash any of the grading companies, just show the difference between two of them. And a lot of people didn't think about it. I mean, I've seen a lot of slamming of both companies on the boards on this. But nobody really brought up, was it damaged coming out of the HDA? Did the guy, when he cracked it, not know what he was doing and it got damaged somehow? Or was it damaged during shipment or him placing it somewhere else? Maybe it was dropped to PSA. I, I have no idea. There has to be more of the story on to it, though. But if you guys have anything, always put in the comments, send me an email, whatever you guys got. Other than that, take care, have a good one, see y'all next video.